Wow. Interesting. what is up it's I think eight o'clock in the morning um, and it's the first day of uni so I'm gonna guys I'm gonna take you guys through my entire day I'm gonna show you how I structure my day how I eat while I'm on contest prep while being in uni and also how I fit going into the gym into my schedule so I'm gonna show you all my meals and I'm gonna show you what my day is like cheers guys What's up people, so um, if, you, if you saw earlier I just had a coffee because uh, today I have class and I'm not training in the morning. If I'm not training in the morning then I'd rather not have uh, any food. I'd, I'd rather save it up for later when I get a little bit hungrier or closer to my workout. So I have class right now um, until like 11 o'clock and at 11 o'clock is when I will actually break my fast and have a little bit of food before my training. Um, so yeah, let's get it guys, I'm gonna go to class. Alright people, so first class is done. Um, I have an hour break until my next class, so I'm gonna get a meal in. I'm gonna go to Subway because it's just convenient, healthy, lots of protein. Um, if you guys have access to Subway, I think that's a really good one, um, especially if you are, you know, trying to make them get them gains. Let's go. Hi, good morning. Um, can I get um, a foot long? Um, rye bread, please. Uh, can I get the buffalo chicken? Do you want uh, Yes, please. Uh, no cheese, please. Can I get a uh, double chicken, please? Double meat. Lettuce, please. Uh, spinach. Um, tomatoes. Uh, cucumber. Um, and carrots, please. Uh, can I get the... Uh, Garlic and chipotle. That's it. Oh, yes, it's all in pepper, please. Yep, that's it. students discount here so make sure you check it if your subway does the same um, so here are the macros real quick focuses 
Why is it not focusing? But I'll read it out to you anyway. Um, it's 910 calories, 84 carbs, 22 fat, and 88 protein. I'll check in with you guys afterwards. Alright, so I had my first meal. And then now I still have a little bit of time before my next class. So I'm just going to get some work done on my computer. And then, yeah. And then after that class, I'll be hitting the gym. So what I wanted to say is like, you know, if you guys have time in between your classes, don't just like muck around and stuff. You know, get some work done, be productive, you know, um, read up on what's your next class. Uh, do some other work, like I'm going to do some editing right now. And, um, you know, and then after that next class, I have like... A two or three hour gap in uh, until my later class so I'm gonna go to the gym you know so whenever you have gaps in time whenever you have free time you know get your gym done get your work done that's it guys alrighty people so that's my second class done um, heading off to the gym right now I'll see you guys there hey guys what's up so I'm at the gym right now um, and yeah so usually I start off with some foam rolling um, as you always see in my videos. So I'm just gonna take you guys through that and I'm gonna take you guys through my leg workout. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna do a commentary today. Uh, I'm probably just gonna do an edit. So yeah, stay tuned. So guys, I want to mention real quick. Um, so if you're doing your warm-up, focus on doing dynamic uh, warm-ups. So like, you know, leg swings, uh, dynamic movements, so stuff where you're moving around. And post-workout, then you do some isometric stretching. Because I've read studies online <coughs> stating that if you do isometric stretching prior to, to your workout, it could actually hinder your performance. Since the muscle is being elongated for a very long time, it may actually reduce its ability to uh, produce power. So make sure you guys do um, dynamic stretching prior to your workout instead. Hey guys, what is up? So today I'm gonna bring you guys through a quick little leg workout that I did. And first of all, I wanna apologize for the blurry images in the beginning of the video. I don't really know how to use this camera properly yet, um, but I'm learning as we go and I'm trying to up my content every day. Uh, I'm trying to learn how to provide you the best information um, and try to you know preach about fitness and try to bring it into your lifestyle along with nutrition as well so here is how I usually structure my leg workout um, I do a more quad focus movement in the beginning um, I, I usually do two compound movements in the beginning so one more quad focus and one more hamstring focus in the next clip you'll see I do stiff leg deadlifts um, so this is how I usually structure it I could also reverse it I could do um, a more hamstring dominant movement first like the stiff leg deadlift in the beginning and then squat afterwards but right now I'm really trying to focus on growing my quads I would say that my hamstrings are a little bit stronger than my quads so that's why I start off with quads um, you can also switch up the structure of the workout if you want you can also start with isolation um, if you struggle to feel your legs um, I would say that you know you could start off with some isolations sort of as a pre-exhaust so that you guys can you know get a good mind muscle connection with your legs prior to hitting you know the big bigger compound movements here I'm showing you guys a different angle on my stiff leg deadlifts um, I'm trying to keep my spine as neutral as possible um, and just trying to get a good stretch and flex on the hamstrings here um, and then afterwards I move in straight into a isolation movement and this one is more quad focused with the leg extensions if you saw earlier in the clip um, of this one I put the setting on the highest setting so that I can get a great stretch on my quads um, you know getting a weighted stretch is a really good way to uh, make sure that your time under tension and your range of motion is fully optimized um, and then here I'm doing a leg curl so this one is an isolation movement for the hamstrings. I highly recommend doing this movement. 
um, and the leg extensions as well because you know the the quads and the hamstrings are quite limited in terms of their function in terms of what movements you can actually perform so you know I recommend doing some type of squat some type of hip hinge um, you know for your quads and for your hamstrings respectively and then some type of isolation afterwards and then here I'm doing sort of a more dynamic movement so I usually do a more dynamic movement as sort of my leg day finisher um, so here I'm doing the static um, barbell lunges um, I see a lot of people do them you know like the walking lunges with the dumbbells I love those as well uh, but for this training cycle I'm using the barbells here uh, you know because I think that um, sometimes when you do dumbbell lunges your forearms could be a limiting factor in terms of how much how many lunges you can do um, so here I'm just mostly focusing on you know getting a great deep stretch with my quads on the way down and you know getting a good contraction on them on the way up as well um, you know don't be lazy guys you know do the lunges I know they're hard but just do them you know um, I, I think that mo a lot of gains were made in my legs when I started doing lunges because I think you know adding these type of more dynamic movements is a more functional way of training and I usually find that with myself and with my clients that you know their quads respond very well to dynamic type of movements such as lunges um, and then at the end of my leg workouts I usually hit some calves I either do a seated calf raise or I do a standing calf raise here I'm doing the standing calf raises um, and yeah I'm just focusing on getting a good stretch at the bottom holding it for at least one to three seconds before I come back up because you don't want to be using momentum in this movement I'll check in with you guys afterwards see ya Alright, so gym is done. My legs are absolutely cooked. Um, I'm gonna get a protein bar and then I have another class to go to. So, yep. Hi. So, protein bar gains are secured. Um, the reason why I choose a protein bar is because I can easily track it since I'm on contest prep. I need to track everything. Um, and then it's also easy. I can get it on the go and head to class right now um, without preparing any meals because I'm not a big fan of meal prep. Um, and then when, once I get home, then I'll have a big meal. Check, catch you guys later. Alrighty, people. So I'm back home now and I just made dinner. Uh, let me show you what I got um, here. So I made this like, it's it's a mushroom kind of simmer sauce with chicken and veggies. And then this is a minestrone soup. I'm gonna put the macros on the screen. And this is something that you can do if you, if you guys are making food in bulk. So I, I've made, you know, like instead of, um, cause my chicken was gonna expire tomorrow. So I just made all of it and just put the entire jar of sauce. So I just eat half today and eat half tomorrow. So just do that and it saves you some time. Um, I'm going to eat that and then I'll check in with you guys later once I try to finish off the rest of my macros. See you guys. Remind me to say later, if I forget to say it because I was going to say it earlier, that I'm going to teach them how to make all this food in another episode. So yeah, it's literally been five minutes, but for some reason, uh, since I got back from the US every time I have food I feel like I should balance it with something sweet so I'm gonna have some dessert um, <clears throat> blah, blah, uh, here I'm gonna have some halo top this one is the peanut butter flavor I will put the macros again on the screen uh, this will be my dessert. I think I may still have like a tiny bit left after this uh, I'll show you guys what I'm gonna have. So I'll be right back Alrighty people, so it's about midnight right now uh, a few hours after that last meal and I'm just gonna finish off my macros. I had I think 400 ish calories or 500 ish calories after that last meal um, So here I'm gonna show you guys um, so I have some cereal and I have some peanut butter. I'm just gonna have 10 grams of that when there's about a hundred grams of cereal in here and yeah that'll be pretty much it for my day um, yeah that's it I just want to preach consistency you know like 
um, make sure you guys get it done, you know, no excuses, even if you're in university, um, just do it, you know, just go to the gym, just make sure that, you know, don't, don't use being busy as an excuse to eat junk food all the time, you know, and, and I don't know, like order McDonald's or whatever, you know, just, you know, do your best to do whatever in your capability to be excellent. See you guys. I'll show you guys how to get your fats in. So if you're like a chicken eat, chicken breast eating bra like I am, you may struggle to get in your fats. And this is the most delicious way to get your fats in. You grab a little bit. Okay, see? Wait, wait. 10 grams, okay? 10 grams? You good? Half an hour. You can cut the video.